Today I'm going to help you understand exponential growth using the classic penny problem to understand the spread of COVID-19. The term exponential is often used by many people as a general adjective meaning really big or really fast. Mathematicians use it in a much more specific way that I'll help you understand today. Our minds have trouble understanding growth in an exponential way. Psychological research calls this exponential bias. Let me explain. So we have the classic penny problem. You just got a new job working in your favorite corn dog truck. Your boss asks you to choose between two options for your payment over a 30 day period. Option one is that your boss pays you one penny on day one, then doubles the previous day's payment each day onward. Day two, you receive two pennies. Day three, you receive four pennies. Day five, you receive eight pennies and so forth for 30 days. Option two is that your boss offers you $1 million in a lump sum for your 30 days of work. $1 million sounds pretty nice, but maybe we should see how much the other option gives us just to be sure. So to explore this further, we have day one, we make one cent. Day two, we earn two cents. Day three, we earn four cents. Day four, we earn eight cents. Day five, we earn 16 cents. And ultimately, we want to know how much we earn on day 30. And for any day n, we would like to know how many cents we would earn on that day. So what I'm noticing is that these numbers here can be written as powers of two. <coughs> so one can be written as two to the zero power, two can be written as two to the first power, four can be written as two to the second power, eight can be written as two to the third power, and 16 can be written as two to the fourth power. And so what I'm noticing now again is another pattern. On day four, the exponent is a three. On day five, the exponent is a four. So the exponent is going to be what day we're on subtract one. So on day 30th, we are going to have an exponent of 29. And for any day n, the exponent will be n minus one. So how much are you paid on day 30? You're paid two to the, two to the 29 cents, which is well over $5 million. And that's only what you're paid just on day 30. So using our mathematical model, on the nth day you would be paid 2 to the n minus 1 cents. So for example, on day 40 you would earn 2 to the 39th cents. So exploring this further, when did the penny start amounting to a lot of money? On day 10 you're paid only $5.12. On day 20 you're paid just over $5,000, which is nowhere near $1 million. You might be regretting accepting this option at this point. It is not until day 25 that we are even in the $100,000 area, but on day 28 we are paid $1,342,177.28, which is well over the initial $1 million offer. So many of you have asked me to show you how to calculate the sum of all the days together. So the sum total amount of money earned for all 30 days added together is the sum of the powers of two, which is given by the following equation, which we will not derive in this video. Maybe that's the subject of a future video, but it is S equals two to the N plus one minus one. So if you evaluate this for N equals 30, you end up with 21,474,000 $836.47. So here we have a graph of the money we have earned on each day. It's the typical exponential growth graph and it looks very familiar to us who are in the midst of experiencing the COVID-19 pandemic. So it does look familiar to us. And we know that other things besides pennies can grow exponentially. Any living organism that is allowed to grow with unlimited resources and no competition or predators will grow exponentially. 
and whenever you have something that is growing exponentially, it will double its population in a certain time frame. For a penny problem, the payment doubled every day. For COVID-19, the virus is also growing exponentially, and the number of infected people has been seen to double in certain locations between three and six days. For other areas where social distancing has been effective, the doubling rate is even longer. For now, let's just compare two hypothetical rates, doubling every three days versus doubling every six days. So if you have one infected person on day one and the virus doubles every three days, then after 30 days, the virus would double 10 times, which is 30 divided by three. <clears throat> and the result would be two to the 10th power, which equals 1,024 people. Continuing this rate would yield two to the 20th cases by 60 days and two to the 20th power equals 1,048,576 people. On the other hand, if you have one infected person on day one and the doubling occurs every six days, then after 30 days, the virus would double five times or two to the fifth power, which would be 32. At this rate, after 60 days, it would double 12 times. So the result would be two to the 12th power, which is 4,096. 1,048,576 is significantly larger than 4,096. The difference between these numbers is purely the result of a longer doubling time. So why is this so hard to wrap our minds around? There are so many people out there who are having trouble understanding the numbers. Psychological research has found that our minds like to conceptualize growth in linear patterns, such as 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and so on. It's a lot harder for our minds to conceptualize a pattern of exponential numbers like 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. Both of these series of numbers start small and seem to grow gently at first, but the latter will grow much faster and in a way we are not used to conceptualizing. So we know the virus will not remain in an exponential growth phase forever. It will start out exponential and then it will follow a bell shape, which is called a logistics curve. The bottom line is if the rate of doubling can be slowed even a little bit using social distancing during the exponential phase, the spread of the disease can be slowed significantly. In our example, slowing the doubling time from every three days to every six days made a difference of over 1,044,480 cases. Thank you for watching. Hope you learned something new about exponential growth. And if nothing else, you can impress your friends by solving the penny problem.